This is my trust seal typewriter. Roll the intro. Hi, I'm Edna. This video is about old typewriters and how to write some ASCII art on them. As an example, I've chosen a picture of PewDiePie. But first things first, let me introduce you to my old typewriter. This one is made by the Torpedowerke Aktiengesellschaften and is a Model 6. It was sold by the A. Fichtinger Company in Augsburg. They sold office supplies. As you can see, there is a big crack already on the top. I glued the pieces together because the typewriter came broken to me. And as an old workhorse, there are a lot of blemishes and bad repairs. A typewriter is fun, but most people have forgotten how to use it. You need to get your paper in, and after finishing typing, you need to get it out. This is not like a printer, every step is a manual task. And typing itself is slow because of the long travel of the lever. And you need some muscle. Nothing like a chiclet keyboard. I'm glad you can still get newly produced ribbons like these for your typewriter. The spoots are made of plastic, but hey, that's okay. I'm happy just to get them. Oh yeah, now I've got dirty fingers. Great. As you've noticed, the ribbon has two colors. With the level on the side, you can change the colors. You adjust the height of the ribbon travel with it. Let's move on to the fun side. At first I had to search for a good picture of PewDiePie and therefore I used Google Image Search for this. And after finding a good picture, well, at least in my opinion, I got this with PewDiePie smiling at his mic. As you can see, I'm using GIMP. I cut basically everything out that is in the background and retouched the visible cables on the left and his mic stand. As the last part, I've added this background and turned it into a black and white image. After that done, I've opened ASCII Generator version 2. To generate an ASCII picture, it is as simple as to drag and drop your image onto the small window on the right. Then you change the size of the image. In this case, I got 155 by 85 characters. This is a total of 13,175 characters to type. This is the image you get with that. Of course, you should use a similar font to your typewriter to get an accurate result. And don't forget to delete all the characters your typewriter doesn't have. On the bottom, you can also change the appearance of your image. Just play around with it until you're happy. And after that, I copied and pasted this text to Word. This enables me to use multiple colors to my liking. As my ribbon is also red, I colored his headphones red as a highlight. I've also used some red for his headphone cable. Using Word is also great to keep track simply by marking all the already typed lines. Let's go typing! And after 14 hours, this is the result. Let's get it out to show you the details. I've chosen a thick paper for acrylic paint with an imprint of a woven canvas so I can get deep impressing of the characters. This gives me a nice 3D effect on the art piece. PewDiePie is not my first type ASCII art piece. And just to show you two other examples, I typed myself and called the picture Selbstschriftnis, which translates to self portraitl but I think in this case the German name has more beauty in it as a wordplay by itself. And of course, I had to copy the great pop art Campbell soup can by Andy Warhol. It is meant to be typed on the typewriter, don't you think? So Pewds, if you like this and want to get it, just write me an email and I'll send it to you for free. My contact details are in my channel info. 
I hope you liked it. And that wraps it up for today.